Scottish warrior. Undermanned and undergunned, but they, you know, just fought hard and fought with everything they could to try and get the result. And I think that that's something that I kind of resonate with as well. Is you're maybe not always the most skilled or the most athletic or the most anything, but if you have it in here and you give it that red hot crack, whether you win or lose, and um, people respect you for it. And I think that's something everyone around the world, you know, when you think of like Braveheart, you think of those kind of movies or films or Scottish warriors. That's something you think about. So um, yeah, I kind of try and embody that as much as possible. My name's Chris Watt and I'm a Muay Thai fighter. I was born in Aberdeen, Scotland, but I have lived most of my life in Perth, Western Australia. I'm the current ISKA 72 and a half kilo Australian champion. My family moving from Scotland to Australia um, has been one of the best things ever and I'm really, really thankful for, to my parents for being really courageous and brave to take me to this fantastic country. It did mean leaving family and obviously at a bit of an awkward age where maybe you've got friends and you sort of have to make new friends, which is sometimes not always the easiest, I suppose, especially being that quirky kind of awkward sort of kid. Um, but I think, yeah, it's really shaped me to be the person that I am because I threw myself into martial arts um, at a time where maybe I didn't feel like I fit, fit in um, anywhere. I really fit in in a martial arts gym and a martial arts setting and um, helped me grow into having the qualities like discipline, um, you know, hard work. Those people that know me best would sort of say I'm a little bit kind of nerdy and geeky and a bit awkward and weird and all those kind of things. But I think when I was younger that used to kind of, I'd try not be like that. I think now I've just embraced it. It's just who I am and I like it. it makes people laugh sometimes, whether it's with me or at me. I guess just embracing that little bit of quirkiness. If I was to describe my fight style, I would say it's probably a little bit of come forward, but a little bit of trying to counter and be technical, sort of baiting people into doing things. Um, also as well, just a little bit of like when it gets rough and gritty, just trying to kind of fight fire with fire a little bit, I suppose. I've sort of gone through a bit of transformation with who I am in the ring, sort of try to not just be that walk straight ahead, eat everything type of fighter, try to be a little bit more calculated and thoughtful with what I do, but there's still that sprinkling of that. I think that's never going to go away. And I think that's one of my biggest weapons as well, being malleable and whatever we need to do, we can do. I think it's just an evolution as any good fighter should do is evolve and change with the times and with their progression and as their levels change, change with it. I'm motivated by the challenges that come from fighting. Um, I feel like it's really forged me to be the person that I am. I get to have a, you know, a really amazing career as a coach because of my fighting career. I get to be motivated by the team that I train with, the team of coaches and also the team of competitors and even just the general people that I get to work with as well. Just really draw a lot of inspiration from them. People have some really amazing stories and it's great to sort of be a part of that story and you know, maybe motivate them as well. Right before I walk out to fight or when I'm warming up out the back, it's more I just look back on like my training over the past you know six to ten weeks leading up or however long we've had to train when we've known about the fight think about like all the haze running all the training I think to think about the good times some of my most favorite memories are you know um, getting together with my coach in training or um, you know being with the team in training and doing like that extra stuff like going for runs on Sundays with them um, so reminiscing on the good times and maybe the hard times of training that have kind of forged me to be at the place that we're at and ready to go. Uh, I think the proudest time in my career, possibly be winning an um, Australian title in October last year um, in my hometown and having such an amazing bunch of people and fans come to watch. It was just a really, really special moment that I'll remember forever. But I think also as well I've had times in my career where I've said, all right, I'm not going to fight anymore, but always kind of been drawn back to it. And I think that feeling afterwards of like, oh wow, we did this when perhaps didn't think he was going to do it again and overcome injuries and you know, setbacks and big losses and all those kind of things. I think that is something I'm more proud of than say accolades. And my goal for the next three to six months, um, I want to continue fighting, you know, better, more experienced people and, you know, harder people. I think eventually we do want to be fighting on like one FC just because it's again that next jumping competition. I think we're getting to that stage where we've kind of fought everybody locally and we just take it to that international level. Um, you know, it's an amazing organization that obviously everyone wants to be a part of. I really think I can bring something special to it that maybe isn't always there.